and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Esper Control, our next deck that we're going to be playing over in Mythic in Best of Three. Uh, we did go with Demir Control a little bit ago, and now we're going to try some Esper. Um, Esper gives us Kaya's Wrath, which obviously is a is a great Wrath. Um, also gives us some also gives us Teferi Time Raveler, of course, and gives us a, a good answer for Witch's Oven uh, with Kaya Orzov Usurper that we're going to be having here. I just put it here. I know it's a three mana card, but I put it here because uh, the three mana cards kind of were a little bit uh, too much there. Um, we also get uh, good enchantment removal uh, for like wilderness reclamation and fires with, we got a Dispark in the main, a couple more Disparks in the board. Um, Dovin's Veto is a great counter spell. Um, but then, you know, we got a regular blue black, uh, you know, control cards at the top end for finishing games. We're going to have Ugin and Liliana make armies of tutus to be beating down the opponent. Plus, we got the spicy Dovin Architect of Law, which the last time we played Esper Control with this card, it was really good for us because it kind of fills the Teferi role of sitting back and being able to draw a card every single turn. But honestly, that gaining two life is pretty valuable too, especially when there's a lot of like cat decks that are trying to just ping you out and everything like you're a slower control deck you try to like stabilize um at a low life total but then dovin can get just give you that um can give you that life buffer so you're not going to die to a top deck burn spell or a haste creature or anything like that so yeah we got that dovin up at the top end as well um but yeah besides that it's just kind of regular esper control stuff um again we got we got one kai in the main one kai in the board for witch's oven um cry the carnarium couple of those in the in the board and another one in the main for these cat decks as well um but yeah this this looks pretty good hopefully this does uh just fine so yeah we're gonna go play four or five matches depending on how long they take over in mythic and let's see how we do so yeah esper control treats us in the new metagame here uh, the minus isn't that bad it's just you know taps a thing for a turn it's you know semi-removal Dovin has six fingers? I did not notice that either. I did not notice that either. One, two, three, and then four, five, six. Yeah. And then the other hand? Yeah, the other hand looks like six also. Hmm. All right, so two of our four six-mana Planeswalkers in our opener isn't ideal. And we're hoping they're playing something that Kaya and Othakaya are good against. But that's not a guarantee. That's fine. All right, we'll take that. So Kaya, you're gonna minus and you you minus an exile witch's oven. You don't exile the cat. You you exile this can exile witch's oven. That's why it's that's what makes it pretty good. The question was why can't they just sacrifice the cat and bring it back? But yeah, you you exile witch's oven. There's not a whole lot of great op. Uh, answers to Witch's Oven, and Kaya's a good one. Dynamite with a laser beam. Usually I'm better at dodging. Something better. Good for you. Shuffling me off my. All right. Hopefully we just draw two lands in a row.
Uh, correct. Yeah, the minus five would count cards on an adventure because yeah, those are those are cards in exile, uh, cards that are on an adventure. So yeah, the minus five would count those. And so now, if they want to attack Kaya, um, they take two because of the oath of Kaya. So we kind of got them in the hard, the hard lock. It's the hard lock life for them. It's the hard lock life for them. But yeah, if we just draw two lands, get this Dovin in play, we're going to be looking good. All right, so they're just cycling Lazotep Reaver, basically. Co basically cost them zero mana. They're just cycling it. Oh, no. I'm going to make myself scarce. It's unfortunate. Let's slow this down. So bouncing Othakaya is my best thing I can do. I want to bounce Othakaya, but then if, if I bounce Othakaya, then they kill Teferi with Priest. I'm going to hope they don't have a removal spell right this turn, and next turn I can bounce Othakaya. So my Teferi doesn't just die immediately. But maybe I should just... Like, this is kind of risky. Like, because if they do have a... Another murderous rider. This is pretty bad for me. Um, maybe, it, like, honestly, honestly, Teferi probably doesn't need to be alive. Like, maybe I should have just bounced the Othakaya. Um, you know, drawn another card. Because then it could have been a land drop also. I, I probably should have just bounced the Othakaya. So this hurts, because now they get to... Sack and everything, too. Ah, it would have been a land drop that I would have hit. Hmm. All right, so that, that whole line did not work out for me. That's more like it. So the question is, why not bounce the priest? Because since I have Kaya's Wrath, I, I just kind of want them to have the creatures in play. Awesome, Rapha Guru. Glad you're enjoying the five color elemental deck. Cool, cool. Yeah, it's that's that deck definitely got a lot better without Oko, for sure. Seen that coming. Yep. 
Yep, I upload the videos right away to YouTube. They take like 45 minutes to an hour to upload. And then the first, you know, 45 minutes to an hour or so that they're up on YouTube, they're on in like 360p as they continue to process and get to 1080. This isn't your average zombie horse. A little death never hurt anyone. All right, so yeah, so we stabilize there, but then they, they still have these castles that can draw them a bunch more cards again. Let's just get Dovin in play. Start drawing more cards. So they could kill Liliana if they draw removal for the 2-2. Two -two. That's fine. I could have protected with the minus. Obviously, I could have gotten rid of it with Tyrant Scorn. There's a lot of ways I could have made sure that Liliana wouldn't die in this turn. But I think just getting Dovin in play and, and doing both the tick-ups on the Planeswalkers is my best course of action. Even if they do get rid of this 2-2 two -two and kill Liliana, that means they're attacking into Oath of Kaya, which... Um, again, limits their ability to activate castles. Yeah, the sleeves that my opponent's playing are the extra life sleeves they had on sale uh, for a week, maybe a weekend. Um, that the proceeds went to um, the extra life, and uh, they were like three ninety nine or something. They, it was with the My Little Pony. If you if you saw that they had like the My Little Pony sleeves, that was the same thing. Those went to extra life as well. All right, so we're playing against a deck that we want these cards in against. Narset does a good job of stopping uh, Midnight Reaper from drawing a lot of cards. I think we can kind of just get rid of counter spells. I don't think I don't think we necessarily need to counter anything. Even though I guess technically if they duress away all four of these, it's gonna be a little bit harder to win. And you know, like duress and murderous rider and stuff like that, all all of my big planeswalkers. Hey, Baloney Pony. Yeah, it's going to be sweet. Yeah, we're doing a 12-hour stream for Historic on Thursday. Uh, we got to enough... We, yesterday, we hit enough sub goals for a 12-hour stream, so we're going to be doing it um, on Thursday with the release of Historic and the the 20, um, the 20 new rares to build... Or not all rares, but 20 new cards to build around and everything like that. So we'll start with the Fabled Passage so that we can have Legion's End on turn 2 and then Kaya or Teferi on turn 3. Hmm. Well, that didn't work out. Guess I should have got Swamp.
yeah the new wild the new historic cards are just only you just make uh they're only available with wild cards like they're not going to have them in packs or anything but i think you can also just spend gems it's like 3200 gems for like the play set of all of them or something like that also I think it's maybe like $18 or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we're, we'll do some like tribal stuff with Historic for sure, like Knights and Zombies. Um, and and then I don't know. We're just going to kind of build around stuff. It'd be kind of fun to, to try to build around Fauna Shaman. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll kind of see like on Thursday on stream. So is that what, what we want to play? I don't have... I don't have a huge plan right now. Oh yeah, elves. Yeah, it gets Imperious Perfect and... Um, Elvish Visionary. Yeah, Crypt Breaker is awesome. That's a really good card. Oh yeah, Phyrexian Arena. Ooh, yeah, we should probably make Mono Black Control with Phyrexian Arena. That'd be fun. So my opponent's at 12. We're, gonna to, we're just going to keep on killing this, dread, this token with the Dreadhorde Invasion. Until they die. Hey, what's up, Forks? The games are going good. Yeah, we went 4-1 with Demir Control. We're looking good with Esper Control here also. Faced undead horror. You better watch your back from here on out. From here on out. Down to nine. Kaya's been pretty sweet. Definitely played a good matchup for Kaya. And I can use somebody. Well done. Look to see me no more. We're a burn deck now. And basically, you know, they look at their life total, they realize they can't even activate Castle anymore. If they attack Kaya, they take two. They can't really attack Kaya. Yeah, Historic's going to be best of three on Thursday. Yeah, they're going to have ranked best of three. Oh, 
Oh no. They're a life gain deck now. Somebody. Hmm. Good riddance to You'd better watch your back from here on out. So I guess they get to kill Kaya. Unfortunately. Yeah, they're going to have Ranked Historic starting on Thursday. You won. This time. They're going, taking a damage, down to two. They kind of need to draw Witch's Oven. I could have just Legion's End this Cauldron Familiar to keep a Witch's Oven draw from not being so great. Those are just like the perfect cards. A Yara and Oven. Yeah, that's pretty perfect. It's only made my life more difficult. Oh my gosh, I just targeted the wrong thing. I was looking at my mana and making sure they didn't uh, they didn't uh, miss the auto tap and I just targeted the wrong thing. I just targeted the wrong thing.
because, of course, I need to target the 4-4. Four four. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I can't believe I just did that. Because I need to target the 4-4 four four so that if they, if they sack it to keep my Murderous Rider from coming back, then I'd have the Legion's End for the cat. I just targeted the, the wrong thing. I was just looking at my lands. Yeah, that's a feels bad. That's certainly a feels bad. So yeah, I could have Legion's End still. Um, I'm I'm casting the Chemist's Insight instead, though. That other Witch's Oven draw means... They could have put me down to one. And then potentially drawn another Cat or Oven to kill me. Man, I can't I can't believe I just clicked the wrong thing. Cuz I would have been playing I would have killed this thing and then I would have recast the murderous rider. I would have had another 2 3 life linker out there. I'm just dead. Yeah, I shouldn't even play this castle. I should have played this hollowed fountain here. Because my my only line that keeps me alive right now is casting Kaya's Wrath to gain an extra life. They can still attack. As long as they don't attack. Man, I just messed this game up. There's like no there's no reason for me to lose this. Yeah, I guess you know. Yeah, like y'all are right. Like, Witch's Oven was the only way I could lose this, and so I, I should have just exiled the cat uh, while I had the chance before the oven. But then, obviously, just that target, that target cost me this game. And that's lethal. Unreal.
Well, good news is I still really like our chances for game three. But I, I know business losing that one. No, I'm not playing on where do you go. All right, Othakaya, I, I want to kill um, Ayara with Othakaya. Ayara's were, were very good. All these duresses were quite annoying as well. Okay, immediately drew two of the four six mana Planeswalkers again. Alright, we put three spells down to the bottom. Two Kaiser Rats and an Ugin. I'm glad we put the Ugin down to the bottom because I really don't want to draw a six-mana Planeswalker. Um, and even the Kaiser Rats. It would be nice to have a Kaiser Wrath, but I would also like to hit my land drops to get up towards Dovin and Liliana. Um, and of course, I can't even cast a Kaiser Wrath right now with Basic Island as one of my lands. Violence is upsetting. All right, hopefully we draw land. Good. Yep, two kitty cats down. Um... Unfortunately, I have this Murderous Rider for one of my six mana Planeswalkers. And their life total is much, much higher than it was last game. This Dreadhorde Invasion is going to be a lot better here this game. No obstacles. Meditate and prepare. All right, well, Ugin will take out Dreadhorde Invasion. Yeah, Karano, if um Yeah, if you if you want your deck it depends on, on what you want. If you want your deck played on stream, um you know, basically if you if you go down below and if you check out the info panel, there's a lot of information about donation decks there. But but yeah, so basically you just uh 
donate through there. It's twenty dollars. You just let me know what day and what time slot you want your deck played. Um, if you just want to, just want me to to show the deck to me, and, and um, I could put it, you know, and I'll just put it in. Um, and kind of like my folder of, of decks I just have. Um, if you just want me to consider playing it at some point, that uh, kind of thing. If you just want me to look over it, you can do that. Um, and there's there's a place where you can copy paste your deck list and and send the link either way. Um, and then finally, if you want um, if you want us to talk about you know show the deck on stream and talk about it on stream for five to ten minutes. Um, and everything that's a deck tech and that's a ten dollar donation so so there you go those are the different options let's try this Yeah, two two of our Kaiser Rass are down at the bottom of the library. Kinda wanna just keep that temple. But it is awkward when you're, you know, draw three of these, three of the four of these, but oh well. This Othakai is pretty strong. You know, like they didn't attack Teferi because of it. Um, oh well, Ugin cost six mana and I only had five mana. I couldn't play, if I could have played Ugin, I would have played Ugin last turn. They make us discard. I'm probably just going to discard the Liliana. Bad idea. Hone your prowess. So they can make us to lose two life with a priest, but then they, they draw a card with priest, which means they don't get to draw a card for turn. So um, waiting till their upkeep means that we get, or yeah, basically waiting till after this Dreadhorde invasion trigger means that they, they don't get another creature again. They can't cast instants because it's a fairy. They don't get to use anything with the mana. And now they're draw step, they don't get to draw a card. I still get to cast Cry of the Carnarium if I want. And this Cauldron Familiar is exiled for good. Only time will. 
will tell. Um. So is this worth just playing, paying three mana to exile this cauldron familiar? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe I'm supposed to play Dovin there and just gain, you know, start gaining life. You know, like another wrinkle. Ugh. That hurts. Darn, should have played the Dovin. Uh, they don't have any other hasty threats besides the wrinkle. But I, I guess they could have had another one. There by not waiting with Kai's Wrath. Oh, that really hurt. I wanted to play that Dovin pretty bad. Ether itself serves me. Um, if Deckmaster is not working, maybe try to refresh your stream because it, it should work. So if it's if it's not working, try to re maybe refresh your stream. I know my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Mm, I already played a land that was not great. Pretty sure we have this one though. Castle Arden Vale is a pretty big game. Hardly my worst defeat. Hmm. Maybe not. So obviously just casting that for the Surveil. Teferi's pretty perfect. I'm known for my excellent fight. I've got time. want to know I had no business losing that game too made us play a lot more magic there yeah <laughs> 45 minute match GG's deckmaster hasn't been working on my side, it's it's everything's green. It should be working. Everything's green over here. It's 
not a good draw. We just always have two of our six. Sorry, two of our four. We have always have two of our four six drops. Immediately. So my mana's pretty bad here. I can't like hold up Murder Strider or Sinister Sabotage anyway. We'll just get this counter off the Bark Hide Troll, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, six drops are at their best in the opening hand. Yeah, yesterday, yeah, yesterday Deckmaster started to work for us. Hmm. Yay, land. Good land, too. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Rise, my elemental friend. It's only a matter of time. That sounds like a threat. Hey, what's up, Wadakiss? What would you recommend to build for someone who is shamelessly abusing Oko before the ban? <laughs> Think about the Arkbow Fires deck you played yesterday. Yeah, that, that one's that one's fun. I don't necessarily think that may not necessarily be like one of the best decks. Um. Hmm. I I'm pretty excited about this the Selesnia the Selesnia Knights Abzan Knight or Abzan Hero like those decks that we're gonna play later and the Orzhov Troll deck that we're gonna play tomorrow. I'm excited about those decks. I, I wish I could block Questing Beast, but I can't. Um, you know, I would be able to like Othakaya kill the 3 3, play Murderous Rider. If I do that, I take. I mean, I, I just go to 4, and the Questing Beast kills me. Even playing Murderous Rider, I guess, doesn't work. Stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. Mm. Dispark was my out. Need to draw Dispark here, and then that was my out. There's one Dispark. It's not a good chance. <laughs> All right, so more Noxious Grass, more to Spark. Um, probably less Kaya, less Cry, more Legion's End. Less. Less veto sabotage.
and no, I'm not playing Ego. Um, it's either cut like another three mana. All right, so the last card's thinking about taking out um, a Counterspell, a Narset, or one of these six drops. I kind of like all the six drops, though. Just hopefully we don't draw two immediately. I think I want to cut a Narset. All right, here we go. All right, well, we'll hit our land drops this time. That's always good. All right, the whole... Our first four cards are also land. Three cards? However many cards. That was not a deal. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got it. Here we go. Probably activating castle starting like next turn. Awesome, Sings is. Awesome. That's cool. Alright, well I guess we're gonna just take down the, the goose. Don't really have anything else to do, I suppose. Getting cards out of my hand because of Castle Lock Twain is um, something that we want to do. Trust me, I have a plan. Edder Ramirez with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Edder Ramirez. Well, this time, Flood beat Screw. How's the new standard so far? So far, so good. Yeah, it's been been enjoyable so far. I, I liked it more than facing Oko all the time. So, so far, so good. Um, you know, still, everybody's kind of just playing stuff and and kind of figuring out what is, what is what they, what is what they want to be doing. What is they, what is what they want to be doing? Hmm, that kind of sounds weird. Yeah, I, I didn't think they were going to update till the 21st either, but they actually just updated immediately. And so, yeah, if you log in, you get your wild cards. It's The bans are in effect. It was updated immediately. Um, the 21st, they're still like the big... That's the only thing they changed right now. Zappa! Thanks for that being on that one-month streak. The 21st, they're still going to have an update, and that update is going to be about um, hopefully fixing some performance issues. They said that they are fixing performance issues. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens there. But then also... Um, also, uh, adding historic and rank, ranked historic and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. 
That wasn't exactly what I wanted there. Right on schedule. Here goes nothing. I can only play one no, Thought Erasure. Not making this up as I go. This turn. Um. Yeah, I do that. Yeah, I think that's hardly my worst. Yeah, I do think the updates they've released have been good news as well. Oh, they had. Oh, did they have Castle in their hand and they were going to be. And I knew they were going to be able to cast this Troll King? Did I know that they were going to be able to cast that Troll King? If so, I definitely should have taken it. Ugh. I gotta kill it twice. That's enters the battlefield also. Gross. That means I have to take this hit from the Feasting Troll King and I can't kill it right now because they just bring it back and draw a card. Activate that ability only during their turn. Make new comrades. So my my problem here is if I would if I do it before damage, they uh, could bring this back. If they draw a creature, play the other creature, and then my Liliana minus doesn't get rid of the Troll King or the you know like one of those or the Wicked Wolf, and I'm in huge trouble. I'm obviously just in huge trouble anyway, though. Gosh, I really feel like I messed this game up. I, I wanted them so like they could still cast they could still bring it back at end step so I was hoping they were gonna just bring it back at end step because it's during their turn so I was hoping they were just gonna right then bring it back but obviously they didn't that's what I was hoping though okay This isn't a fight you can win. I need to play this island. This is just terrible. Here we go. Good help is easy to find in war. I 
That game was a huge mess. I I just didn't realize that that you know they were gonna be able to play that Troll King the next turn. I just messed that up. Um, you know, I just they, that Castle Garenbrig, if they had it in their hand, which I think they did, whenever I thought Erasure, that just didn't um, didn't register for me that they were gonna be able to play that. And just messed everything up. Obviously, it's a whole lot easier to deal with that shifting ceratops. The reason why I didn't, because I didn't think they were going to be able to play it, and I was going to just be able to thought erasure the, uh, not the, the ceratops, but I was going to be able to thought erasure the troll king the next turn. That's what I thought. Um, yeah, it didn't work out. That was a rough game. Man, I've I have kind of been messing up some of these games here. So it looks like I won't be able to play uh, Kaya until turn four. All right, have a good night, Ganaris. Good. Playing a Cauldron Familiar deck. That's good for. Good for Kaya. Hmm. I mean, the thing is, is, we could have this already checked because of Kaya. And then maybe I want to get a two drop with this. Let's see what we got going on over here. Well, maybe I should have kept that Thought Erasure to get, to get this Midnight Reaper. I'm glad we got rid of that Thought Erasure. This Halifound was a lot better draw. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm planning on getting to Abzan Hero tonight. Uh, we may have to start playing just four matches, especially this deck takes a little bit longer. Didn't see a door, so I let myself in. I'm gonna make myself scarce. You won. This time. So they got they got better stuff than I got. You know, basically I have nothing. They have two random cards and a murderous rider. Um, but we we've done a great job. Let's play this fable passage actually and activate this castle. We've done a great job getting rid of some of their more you know like we've exiled one oven too familiar. Um, also made them discard a trail of crumbs. Like those are, those are all really problematic cards, especially that trail of crumbs.
All right, need to find something. I can't really beat Trailer Crumbs too much. I don't know. I want to. I guess I'm just keeping these counter spells here. But hopefully, we find something to do. All right. Well, Ugin. Hmm. I mean, Ugin is good, but I can't play Ugin and hold up counter magic to protect it. If I minus to kill Murderous Rider, then... Oh, dang. Then they'll be able to kill Ugin with Cauldron Familiar. Yeah, they, they did a great job playing around counter magic, just sitting back with Devil Corvold. Obviously, I would, I would love to just draw Kaya's Wrath, which we haven't seen yet. That would be just the best. An eye can create. Or destroy. Well, they're they're attacking Ugin for two, and if if I let them hit Ugin, then I don't have a guaranteed uh, removal for Corvold. Trying to hold on here. It'd be really nice to have both counter spells available instead of just one. So if they just lead with Mayhem Devil, I don't think I counter it. Yeah, I was pretty glad they didn't kill Ugin. I, I would rather be at 3 with Ugin in play than at 5 with no Ugin in play. So do they have an oven? Yay, no oven. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Mm. Secrets manifest before you. 
The undead make great minions. Looks smelly, but effective. I don't really want to minus because a mayhem devil would be four triggers there. So I don't really want to minus. Uh, this song, this is Kiefer Sutherland. So yeah, not he's not just an actor. Musician as well. Pretty talented. Yeah, that looks to be just even a bigger and bigger mistake for not killing that Ugin. Frisky Biscuits! Thanks to the tier 1 sub. Not sure exactly how I want to do this. I'm definitely not going to take four and kill their board. I'm not going to go down to two. This next turn... Oh, man, now I need to kill those trailer crumbs, though. Uh-oh. This could be lethal. That hurts. A second Mayhem Devil. That really hurts. So what my plan was... My plan, I should have just done this last turn. I should have just minus to kill the, man, I mean, now, I thought I could wait a turn, but now if I if I knew they were going to have Trailer Crumbs Mayhem Devil. It's almost lethal. I could have minus and killed the Mayhem Devil. And then minus Liliana and uh, Sack and put the Teferi back into my hand. Um, and they would have been left with nothing, but then my Ugin was dead. I, I honestly thought I had another turn. Be still. I thought I had another turn. Yeah, I basically could not have ever Lily Minus. If I would have Lily Minus last turn, I would have just died this turn. Like they would have, they would have just played this trail mayhem devil and I would have been dead. So I'm I'm glad I didn't Lily minus. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks, Rex. There's there's the rest of the decks there. Okay, we're actually fine now. That was a good draw. Get out of my 
my way. Oh, arena. Come on, computer. Sorry about the lag. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have thought that Kiefer Sutherland was seeing it a bunch either. Oh, the day is yours. Of course, I don't get to kill those trailer crumbs now. Just going to go to five. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Historic Thursday too. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, they did mention that they have talked about that the update on Thursday is supposed to solve a lot of performance issues. And if it doesn't, if I still get a lot of lag with my computer, because I know I get more than everybody else. I am looking into buying a new PC, and I'll be doing that um, if it's still lagging a lot after the update on Thursday. Decide I'm going to bite the bullet there. Really, Dovin's Veto? Now? I mean, I guess I can still, I'm just gonna have to bounce. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. No, it's not about uploading to YouTube. It's about, the, the, the stress is recording because like right now I'm not uploading to YouTube right now. The stress is about rec and that's that's never been a the stress is from recording um you know and, and so it's trying to do the recording stuff and also, you know, stream, you know, and also playing and streaming. That's where the the tension is is that combination there. I don't really know how I'm going to beat this trailer crumbs, though. I haven't figured that out yet. Let's try this. Okay. Figured it out. Well, that doesn't beat the trailer crumbs, but that just gets rid of this cauldron familiar for good. Now I wish I would have. Now I wish I would have bounced trailer crumbs to counter it. I'm not encoding two videos at the same time, one for Twitch and one for YouTube, no. I mean, it's just, it's just one. I mean, I'm just, I'm just streaming and then, and doing one, one record. Really should've got rid of Trail of Crumbs. I'm, of course, casting Cry the Carnarium here. I guess... Huh. Hmm. That was weird. They just chumped with their Gilded Goose? Why would you chump with your only creature? You can't sack anything to Witch's Oven now. What, why would you possibly block with Gilded Goose that just makes more food for your trail of crumbs? It's 
weird. So the problem with Cry instead of Kaya's Wrath, I, I would like to cast Kaya's Wrath first and draw a bunch of cards. Because I don't get to I don't get to draw cards off of the Liliana trigger. Yeah, the the only reason to block there is if you if you think I'm playing a Cry of the Carnarium there that turn. but effective. I mean, better safe than sorry. Better safe than sorry. I don't know exactly how my opponent's going to kill me from three, but better safe than sorry. All right, three cats are exiled. One oven's exiled. Yeah, they could just have another cat in hand. They should not be drawing right now. I, mean, I guess they could draw something that costs one mana. <laughs> Which they did. Um, but the problem with drawing right there is that that could just turn on Thought Erasure on my side. I'm at 27 cards. They're also at 27 cards. This looks like a fun new toy. All right, so now we get to draw a lot of cards off Liliana. They draw two. I draw three. Oh, wow. Now they only draw one. That was incorrect. You'd sack the Gilded Goose. I guess they don't want to lose the life. Now they're just drawing one. I'll find it useful. They were a lousy servant. I've learned much from your death. That's more like it. Hmm. And plus we get to gain another three life with that Kaya's Wrath, because we destroyed three of our own creatures. Yeah, this is game one, I'm at eight we're both at eighteen minutes. Yeah, we're an hour and a half into this league. Yeah, we're definitely only playing. Um, this curse, this trouble. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. I don't, I don't care. Just tap my mana. Looks like we're definitely just only playing four matches with this deck. Maybe we shouldn't be keeping that Legion's End. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Oh, 
some things that cannot be hunted. I, your past is unwritten. Good job, Lugan. You died a hero. Rise and shine. Probably should not have kept that legions in there. Did they crack that immediately trying to activate the trail that I got rid of? Or do they just want to gain more life or castle? So we've gotten rid of two two trails. Two ovens, plus they got this third oven here. Three cauldron familiar. On my side, they got rid of a couple Lugans. I'm basically just going to be... Basically just going to be trying to ultimate this Liliana to win. All right, so bouncing this so they can't sacrifice their Masker Girl whenever I kill it with this Murderous Rider. Plus, we may draw a Thought Erasure. You never know. If you show remorse, I'll show I've done the hero thing before. Hope we don't die from five. How are we going to die from five? Mayhem Devil. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. That makes my life more difficult. Alright, so basically all I got for win conditions are these two Murderous Riders and this Castle Arden Vale and these two 2-2s. Two what am I at? I'm at 16 cards. Might be a bad idea. So they can go to 10, and I have 9 damage, and they're at 10. It's unfortunate. I guess they can go to 13. Gosh, this lag. Sorry about this. We're, we really have to reset Arena. This is just going to kill me on like the time for how long everything's taking. So 
So of course I could I could bounce the Othakai and kill and use it, but they they can gain another six life if they want. Um, I'll just pass. I'll activate Castle Art and Veil. Make a one one. <laughs> yep, Planeswalker deck, Planeswalkers. It's a good card. So we've seen throughout this game that gain two life is very valuable. Please don't kill anything. They could have cleared the board with their witch's oven. They didn't do it though. If they would have just if they would have just sacrificed a murderous rider, that would have just cleared my cleared my board. <laughs> Cause the masker girl triggers. You know, these were one ones. Okay. All right, so we need to reset arena for sure. That's the first thing we're going to do. I'm just going to alt F4 right now. That's definitely valuable. <laughs> yeah, Dovin Dovin would have been great. Yeah, we got to stay on top of the time. Oh, come on. Are they going to not let me sideboard now because we did that? Uh. Well, double check. Hey, what's up, Moses? Thank you so much. I don't yeah, I don't know. Hopefully hopefully that update on the twenty first they said they that they have cleaned stuff up and it doesn't eat so much performance. I I was clicking on the cards. Ah like I'm clicking right now. Oh, there we go. They they let me put in like the only card I don't want in my deck. Are you kidding me? Unmored Ego is the only card I can put in? Ooh. We got the Kaya in there. Can we get... Oh, the Cry of the Canariums are in there now. Okay, I can't get Legion's End. Alright, whatever. This is good enough. Uh, Ten seconds. Um, sabotage, Narset, Noxious Grasp out of here. Uh, Dispark, Absorb, 
Um, insight. Oh no, I need, I need another card. No, submit, submit, submit. No, I took out one too many. I just need to take things out. Ugh. Well, I don't think I got to sideboard there. Nope, definitely did not. But it's okay. We can we can lose a game quickly and just try to win game three with more time. We're drawing pretty terribly, also. The problem is, if I sideboard first and hit submit, then it could just go to the game and then and then start taking down my in-game timer. So that's that's why I I, I didn't do the sideboarding first. So I didn't want my in-game timer to start going down. Pretty sure my opponent just let me kill their Mayhem Devil with that Othakaya. We're up on time now. Just need to draw two lands, including a blue land. Get this Dovin in place. Start gaining two life a turn with the Dovin. That's bad. Your demise. What can I say? I've suffered worse. At least we know their cyborg plan now. Just a bunch of center vines. An unfortunate casualty. I'm tapping a mana here so it doesn't ask me to respond every single turn because I had the mana to activate Castle Lock Twain and so like so like between every single one of these it wanted me to click OK, which just takes, you know, one, two seconds, especially with the lag like two seconds, every single one of these decisions. And I, I don't want to take that time with every single decision.
Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Okay, that's good. Oh, right. I forgot about that card. Or those cards. Oh my gosh. Gotta be kidding me. Just do stuff. What's up, Ataro? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. No, Cinder Vines is a good sideboard card. I think it. I think I honestly think Cinder Vines is a good sideboard card in this metagame. Evil. It seems fortune favors you. All right, so hopefully we have a competitive game three. And we get to sideboard. And all that kind of stuff. But obviously our, our mana was just terrible this game. They had a good hand, though. Double loving, familiar. Yeah, you know, they had a good hand. You have got to be kidding me. I still can't sideboard? You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Disappointed. I guess. Let's try again. Bodies wherever I go, ready to join them. It's so sad. I have such good cards in this matchup. Kaya, <laughs> cry the Cardinarium. Ah, uh, can't do anything. Okay. We still only have a lot of stuff. Okay, well, it looks like we got some stuff in. I had to kind of go quickly. It looks like it looked like Unmoored Ego was like the key. Once I once I clicked Unmoored Ego, then a, a whole bunch of cards just entered. So I don't know if I sideboarded perfectly. We at least got some sideboard cards in. So at least something's in there. And 
And honestly, I don't know exactly all what we got. I know, I know we got like our Cry of the Carnarium, so I'm happy with that. Good. And they don't even have the black mana to be able to activate castles. I hope we get to untap with sabotage. Hopefully no murderous rider. Yay, no murderous rider. Alright, delve in, finish us out. I gotta worry about time now. Because I'm still two minutes ahead. But if they're doing absolutely nothing, Dovin does take up time. Um, the ultimate all the ultimate does is uh Basically, basically, it's time walk. Um, but of course, you don't really need time walk. Gotta play fast. So I'm not really focused on chat right now. I gotta play fast. I'm sorry about that. It's definitely, if this game would go on into perpetuity, we would definitely win if we have enough time. I just have to make sure I can win in, in nine minutes, <laughs> which sounds strange, but I mean, we don't really have anything that's winning the game. I mean, I guess Castle Ardenvale is. I should probably just play the Murderous Rider out, honestly. It does give me a real target for the Swift End. Because I can't really target creatures with Swift End. With triple Oven. We've gained 10 life with, with Dovin Architect of Law so far. 10 life's a lot.
I guess I could have just ultimated there and they're dead. Ethor itself serves me. I guess I should have ultimated. The problem here is that they have a cat. Like, if, if they only had cat and I had to choose cat to discard, because then they get to bring it back. Yeah, I should have just ultimated. We'll ultimate next turn. So all their permanents are going to be tapped. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, I'm, I'm good. Seven and a half minutes. If I would have played the Murderous Rider, I wouldn't have to be responding to all this stuff, too. So that took 30 seconds off my clock of just clicking respond to stuff. <laughs> Secrets manifest before you. Alright, GG's, Dovin Architect of Law. We gained 12 life. That Castle Ardenville is very nice. Alright. Dovin MVP, again, has millions of cards. We had two hours and we played three games. has been two hours we have two other decks to play we really have to just move on we only we only got to play three matches though <laughs> all right i have to reset again oh nope it came back it came up We could move Abzan here tomorrow, but I, I really don't want to today. I really want to play the four decks. Um, yeah, so I, I think we're gonna I think we're gonna move on. Um, you know, we just played the three matches. I you know I may may get back to playing this deck some more, but um, you know it's just two hours for the three matches. Yeah, this is a donation deck. That's. We'll, we'll play it some more at a later date. We'll end it for today, um, but I'll, pro I'll play it again this week. Because um, I do think I do think Esper is good. I think this deck I do think this deck's good. Um, you know, it, it's kind of thing of we'll kind of we'll have uh, spend a few more days seeing like what happens with the meta game and everything too. Because with a deck like this where you have so many um, reactive cards. It is the kind of thing like do you want to 
keep seeing what happens to the metagame so you can keep on uh, tuning your deck because there's so many different options for all these slots. But I really like this build. I like the 75 that we're playing here. Kaya looked very good. Um, the only thing, like, I wish we had a little bit better um, enchantment removal for, like, Trail of Crumbs. But we have Ugin, and Ugin's good. Um, but yeah, I really liked the Kaya. I liked the having the Cry of the Cranariums. Um, so I, I like I like what this deck's going on. I think I think Unmoored Ego is is maybe not ne necessary. At least maybe the two. Um, I know a lot of people kind of want to play Leyline of the Void also for those um, cat decks. Or, so that could be a slot there. Also, if you want like a Command the Dread Horde, that's a slot there. I think that basically whatever you want to put in this slot though. I, I, the reason why I wouldn't put Leyla in the Void is because I think you need an anti-control card. I think there's, like, enough removal spells that you have to take out with, like, Kaya's Wraths, Legion's End, Cry of the Canarium, um, the Tyrant Scorn, the Oath of Kaya's. It's a lot of things you have to take out against control, and so you have to have a lot of things in your sideboard that you want to bring in against control decks. Um, so I, that's why I think that if you want to replace Amor Ego, it's got to be things that you can bring in against control. Um, thought, to, yeah. So thought distortion, yeah. So that that could be it, yeah. Thought distortion instead of an unmoored ego. I would, I would be, I would be perfectly satisfied with that. Um, because yeah, that's a good, that's a really good call against. I like, I like that call for team of reclamation. I like that a whole lot. Yeah, actually, I would think I'd want to play one of those. That's a great card against team of reclamation. Because they. Their game plan is certainly playing tons of counter magic. I like that. Basically, all the all the decks that I'd want to bring in on Mordigo, Thought Distortion's good there too. I just don't want to have tons and tons of sixes. Um, but maybe I cut one of these sixes again. You know, like take out Liliana against um, Team of Reclamation. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, yeah, that, that's what the Kaya is for. Is for the cat matchup. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Mortify would be like the option for enchantments. Uh, the reason why I'm not, we're not playing Mortify is because Trail of, Trail of Crumbs is kind of like the special one. I guess if people play, um, the red one, the red two mana enchantment that does damage to you whenever they attack with one power creatures. But as far as Fires of Invention and Wilderness Reclamation, the two big enchantments that you see, we have Dispark. Dispark is, is awesome there, and Dispark's very good against Gruul um, and all their creatures and Ember Cleave and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, good good solid deck here. So, you know, we'll take the 2-1 there. Um, anyway, that's Esper Control. Uh, so yeah, I'm sorry that only got the three matches in with, with those matches taking so long. And it was really, it was really because of the first match. Um, we went to game three with that because I played very poorly in the second game that cost like 15 minutes. Probably would have been able to get another match in. If it wasn't for that. Um, but yeah, as for control looking good. All right. So if you're, um, and, and just a good answer to the cat decks, I think, I think you have a lot of good stuff here with cry the Carnarium and Kai against the cat decks. Hey, Hawkeye. Hawkeye's a big fan of the cat decks. Anyway, if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe. And, of course, leave some comments. Um, you know, let me know what you think of, of the deck and everything like that. And if you're playing it later yourself, let me know what you're thinking about it. But that's it here for Esper Control. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.